guys, welcome back to my channel. It is finally time to share with you our basement makeover video. I'm gonna approach this video a little bit differently than I normally do. If you haven't seen all of our other makeover videos, I will link them down below in a playlist. You can check out all the rooms, including this one. Basically, my husband and I have been working on our home for the last, we've been here for three years, so technically three years, but we've been kind of filming it and putting it on this channel for the last year. When we bought our house, it had a completely unfinished basement and we sat on it, did nothing with it, kind of used it as storage for pretty much two and a half years. And then the last five months, my husband has started finishing it slowly with the help of his friend. Normally my videos, you see me working on stuff. I did almost nothing in this room. I painted the trim and I did some caulking and I picked colors. Otherwise, none of the work was me. I take no credit that's my husband and his friend Justin and I was pretty much watching the girls. I'm gonna try and walk you through and talk you through the process and show you how we took a completely unfinished basement to a now functioning usable basement with storage. Before we jump into all of the renovations, I wanna say thank you to Popsa for sponsoring today's video. Popsa is a really easy to use photo printing app, so you can make photo books like this one, you can make calendars, picture tiles, even Christmas ornaments, they've got a lot of different options. I know that I share it all here, but something that I thought would be really cool is to sit down and make a book of all of our renovations that we've done on this house, showing the befores and the afters. Popsa it was such a fantastic way to do that. They made it so quick and easy for me to just plug in all of the photos that I have on my phone. You can grab them from your phone or from your social media accounts and they have all of these layouts already made. So you can choose what kind of layout you want to do. You want to do minimal and then the overall style of the book. Offset is also a great way to plug in all of your family and fun memories. So right now I'm making another photo book of all the girls. I love personalized gifts and I think a photo book would be a fantastic gift idea for anyone any holiday. Mother's Day is coming up. I think I'm gonna make my mom something with the grandkids, our girls, to just share all of their memories that they've had recently. I thought it was such a fun idea to capture our home and I could share like what it looks like during different seasons. This is so much fun for us to look back and remember what we've been working so hard on. Look at this. This is the most recent video. Isn't that crazy? And these are really quality photos. You can see that like glossy page. I love that. It looks so good. Boom. If you want to hop onto Popsa and create something, I will have a link down in the description to download the app and you can use my code Carissa for 30% off. Thank you again to Popsa for sponsoring today's video. All right, onto the basement. So like I said earlier, this was really Nick's project and I slacked with the filming of all of the progress. He did so much work down in here. Here's another look at the beginnings of this. We never really took advantage of this space other than just keeping our stuff down here. So the very first thing that was most important to him was insulating down here really well. He started with that back in December. It looks like it happened really quickly, but it definitely took him some time just working on little bits at night. And then from there, what I think made the biggest difference in this room was painting the whole ceiling white. We held some things up to the ceiling to see what it would look like if we closed it in and it instantly felt smaller. So I convinced him to go over everything with the white. So Nick did a couple coats of white on the ceiling. Again, sounds really quick, but it did take some time. And then that is when our friend Justin came into the picture and helped Nick with framing the basement. And that's when everything began to actually feel like a room. Huge thank you to Justin for helping us with this whole room. Neither of us have ever done any kind of framing or electrical. You can see here that they use some two by threes to frame out this room and then they're just nailing that right up into the ceiling. So this area over here is what will end up being the storage area. And then they framed out this little door spot Daddy. over here. How's it going? <laughs> it's going. Concrete sucks. All right guys, you ready for an update? Ooh. Oh, it smells even like a room in here. What are those walls? Okay, so I think since I've updated, we have walls, most, almost all the walls, and one, two, three, four, five, six lights. I'm ready for it to be done. Yeah? I'm ready to be done working on it. Normally, instead of like just check-in updates like this, we kind of film the whole process, but basically they just have, what, the corners left? We have two pieces there, a piece in that corner, a piece in that corner around the door, and then up, up the stairs. 
I need to figure out what we're gonna do with these steps. So for the flooring down here, we went with this smart core waterproof flooring from Lowe's in the color Barren Oak. I wanted something really light in here and it took the guys a few hours to knock out most of this room. I'm just gonna get as much pretty as I can of Justin doing work. Yeah, you read those instructions out loud. One of our main reasons for finishing the basement was being able to get Nick's office down here so he could have a little bit more quiet when he works. So when they finished up with the floors, I started setting up the desk and working on finishing touches. For the walls in the basement, we went with a basic bright white with nothing added in. So on the trim, I wanted to do something slightly off-white with this creamy cotton knit color by, I think, Benjamin Moore, but we had it color matched by Sherwin-Williams. Semi-gloss here on the trim and then on the door downstairs. this moment we got incredibly busy and this is all the footage that we have all right it's a little loud down here but it's time to show you the room you've been waiting for it is not finished to its entirety but it is a finished basement now times I show you the complete finished perfect looking product but I really wanted to embrace just the progress of this project and show you what we're living with right now yes there are some unfinished things here some pieces of trim outlet covers and stuff like that but this is what is working for us right now and I really wanted to show you the progress we've made on this room I'm not too worried about styling it at the moment just making it functional was our main goal let me know what you guys would use this space for if it was in your house and what you think made the biggest difference in this room. All right, Bubby's gonna help me do a little bit of a tour around this space. What I didn't really show was this carpet going in. We weren't here, I wasn't here on the day that it went in. This is the part that we hired somebody from, I think it was Lowe's, to come put this carpet in. It was about $500 to do this over here. We still have to put up our handrail back up there. Really love this to change the feel of this room instantly into feeling like a more finished space and it pads the sound <laughs> it is unbelievable how much of a difference it made in the sound it is so much quieter when we come up and down the stairs um I, I mentioned this earlier but you can see like we have little touches to finish up plenty of things to do another huge part of this makeover that i did not show that was so time consuming was all of the mudding like i don't think you guys realize how much mudding nick did and sanding and vacuuming in this room in order for all of this wall to like be the way that it is he had to mud every single screw into the wall all of the corners and that just took you know a long time doing that only at night and some weekends just took forever so way to go babe up here, we decided to leave this beam open. I liked the way that this kind of light wood looked and Nick sanded it down a little bit. It was darker. And then you guys know we painted the ceiling up here and Justin added these six lights in here for us. So it makes the space so much brighter. It honestly kind of feels like a cool like warehouse office vibe, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Some hip young office space. Um, but this is Bubby's zone. He loves this rug down here. This is a rug that used to be up in our living room. I mentioned this, but I'm not really worried about styling it at the moment. Like I said, Bubby's down here a lot, so I don't want to have to worry about something like this is our old couch. He loves to sleep on it. We're not really worried about. This is that board that we tried up on the ceiling, and it just felt so small in here. It was not worth covering the ceiling up. Um, I want to bring some of the girls' toys down here, so that's why I have this little shelf for them. 
So here's this view of this space from over here. This is a partial basement, so it's not the entire length of our house. It's basically the living room of our house and um, like the upstairs living room. We've got this outlet that Nick's dad helped us put the outlets in. He put this up here so that we can mount a TV over there. We we're kind of trying to do some sort of sectional the way that we have up in the living room. But like I said, we're sticking with what we have for now. And Nick has his little work set up over here. And here was the room of my dreams because it is a storage room and um, painted this door the same cotton knit color. Haven't finished, you know, some finishing details. It's fine. We're all fine. Back in here, that's where I've got Christmas baby clothes, stuff like that, extra rugs. People seem to think I have a lot of rugs. I really only have that one in storage, I promise. I honestly cannot believe that this is the same area that was down here when we moved in. Guys, it's insane. And um, it took a little while to get here, but oh my goodness, so much worth it for what it adds on to this home. In my original plan, I wanted to do some cool big mural down here, but I just do not have it in me right now. What do you think? You like it, Bubby? Yes? He likes it down here. Isn't that difference amazing? I hope this process was a little bit helpful. Let me know if this was fun to watch down below if you like this style of video. It's so cool to see where the basement started. This was definitely our most from scratch project because as you can see, the, the basement was literally concrete. And this home's like 20, I think this home is like 20 years old, a little bit older than that. No one has ever gotten to really use that basement. Now it is usable space, which adds a lot of value to our home but also just a lot of function. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, we definitely have a lot of things coming up and you will see them very soon. I'll be sharing some big news here. So hit subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, happy DIYing or happy cleaning.